For millions of years, Earth was fertile and rich. Then pollution and waste began to take their toll. Civilization fell into ruin. This is the world of the 25th century. Only a handful of scientists remain, men who have vowed to rebuild what has been destroyed. This is their achievement. Arc 2, a mobile storehouse of scientific knowledge manned by a highly trained crew of young people. Their mission, to bring the hope of a new future to mankind. Arc 2 log, entry number one. I, Jonah, Ruth, Samuel, and Adam are fully aware of the dangers we face as we venture into unknown, maybe even hostile areas. But we're determined to bring the promise of a new civilization to our people and our planet. Arc 2 Log, Entry 76. We are about to revive two people who were placed in suspended animation in time capsules some 500 years ago. At that time, medical science was unable to cure their illness. For us, it will be a wonderful opportunity to see what people of the 20th century were like when we've revived these two men. Ready, Samuel? Yeah, but I'm worried about the equipment, Jonah. It could all blow. We'll have to chance it. Ready, Ruth? Ready, Jonah. Go. Adam, lower the temperature, sister, three points. Are you sure you can restore him? I think so. I've got all the necessary medication ready. Samuel, the capsule's atomic power unit is shorted out. I know. It's shorting out my number three mode. I gotta switch it off, Jonah. Samuel, we'll need at least 16 seconds more to reach body temperature. We can't, Ruth. Jonah, we're taking a big chance. The whole art can blow. Ten seconds. We'll have to take that chance, Samuel. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. It worked. Metabolic medication on full. Await respiration. Metabolic medication on full. Respiration complete. Ready for the next one. Metabolic medication on full. Await respiration. Metabolic medication on full. Respiration complete. Good grief! We've been taken over by apes! I'm a chimp. And they talk yet. My name is Adam. My name is Poole. Arnie Poole. This is my assistant, uh, Norman. Oh, uh, who, who are you? I'm Jonah. I'm commander of the Ark, too. <laughs> you just met Adam. Hi! That's Ruth. Hi, Ruth. And Samuel. Well, uh, how come you aren't dressed like regular people? <laughs> We're scientists, Mr. Poole. And uh, besides, this is the 25th century. 25th century? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Never. No, 
ugly. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, 500 years on your back can really get to you. Here, you can take that nose. You're younger than I am. Uh, where is everything? Huh? Where's the high rises? There was. And, and the. And shopping centers. Where's the. Where's the houses? Where are the stores? Where are the sidewalks? Where's my Poolsville, my town? What what happened? Pollution, Mr. Poole. Uh, overpopulation, wars. I'm I'm sorry. Well then then we'll rebuild it, won't we, Norman? We'll we'll make it just like it used to be. Uh, huh? Right, Mr. Poole. Right, right. Now uh, who's in charge here? I am. My name is Jeb. Jeb, Jeb. My name is uh, Poole. Arnie Poole. This is Norman, my my assistant. Uh, what are you, Jeb? A Democrat or Republican? There are no Democrats or Republicans anymore, Mr. Poole. You mean nobody's running the country? Well, oh, that's, that's un-American. You'll have to excuse us, Mr. Poole. We've got work oh, to do. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jeb. Uh, I don't care what you are. I've got a job for you. I got a job for all of you. You, you understand? How about this, Norm? We're going to build a big house for me right here. You understand what I mean? And I'm going to pay you 10 bucks an hour for an honest day's work. Let's have the money. 10 bucks an hour. Think of that. Yes, sir. Here you are. 10 bucks. 10 bucks an hour. You're 10 bucks. 10 bucks an hour. All right, I tell you what. I'll make it 20 bucks an hour. If when it comes to money, it doesn't mean anything to pull. 20 bucks an hour. Look, that's the kind of 20 bucks an hour. 20 bucks. 20, here, 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 look, look, that's real, 20. They're a sick group. They don't know what money is. To find the best growing area, you're gonna have to cover a lot of ground. How long do you think it'll take to get all those soil samples? I don't know, maybe a couple of hours. Okay, well, see you soon. All right. What is this stuff? Who'd you grow it for, midgets? We've had bad harvests lately. That's why we asked those scientists to test the soil while they're here. Soil problems? Now you're talking our language. What do you think, Norman? Suppose we look around where the old factory used to be. Huh? Good idea, sir. Now, there's got to be some around here, Norm. This is the assembly line. We used to make it here. Right, Mr. Poole. Look, look, everyone, look. In the ground someplace. Oh, oh, whammo. <laughs> Poole's power plant, PPP. Poole's plant power, sir. Oh, any way you say it, it's still three Ps. Right, sir. Three Ps will grow anything, anywhere. Do you hear me? This is it. There must be more of it. Come on. We found it. Right, uh, Eureka. Oh. Oh. Pay attention, folks, and gather around. Now, my assistant, Norman, here, and I will demonstrate how things were done <laughs> in the good old days. <laughs> now, observe carefully. First of all, here is a packet of lettuce seeds, common, ordinary lettuce seeds. And uh, then we have here to add a little uh, pool's power plant. Uh, pool's plant power, It's sir. the same thing any way you spell it, PPP. It's a trademark. It's good. <laughs> and last but not least, we add common, ordinary water, aqua pura. And there we have wapo, bumo, uh, zippo. Just another fantastic project developed by Pool Chemical when my time came. How safe were the chemicals involved? Oh, safe as baby powder, girlie. That's not completely true, uh, Norman, sir. Norman, Norman. We've already set the machinery up over in the factory there, and we're ready to start production. Now, friend, uh, you could help me if we could just use some power from that big buggy of yours. We'll run some tests. If the stuff turns out to be safe, you got yourself a power source.
You know, Norman, I don't trust that fellow. Anyone wear a suit like that, he's got shifty eyes. Huh? Girl, bear watching. Yes, sir. I don't like him. One more sample, and we'll head back for the village. Now, look. I'm asking you all to think. To think, you understand? Suppose those folks over there tell us that we can't have the power, huh? What about that? We're scientists. Shouldn't they know? No, no, no. They're not scientists. They're bureaucrats. Looking to tell you what you can't do. They'd take the food right out of your mouth. Do you want to starve? No. Then leave it up to me. I know how to deal with bureaucrats. <laughs> right, Norman? Right, sir. You better believe it. We're gonna have to tell Mr. Poole he can't manufacture this stuff. It's poisonous. That's not gonna make him happy, is it? I'm sure he'll understand when I explain. Uh, Norman, check all that stuff out in the right, oven. You remember right, we had to right, come out right, and then, you know, put that over there, over there. You, yeah, that, take, take it over there, that's right, yes. Mr. Poole, sir. Yes? I'm very sorry to tell you this, but you can't manufacture that stuff. Is that right? It's a very toxic chemical. I knew you were going to tell us something like that, girly. Samuel to Arc 2. Samuel to Arc 2. Come in, Arc 2. How's it going, Samuel? Just about done, and on my way home. Hey, Commander, you better come quick. Something happened to your friend, Ruth. Say, Commander! Arc Romer to Arc 2. Arc Romer to Arc 2. Hey, how about it, huh? That's it, kiddies. That'll keep them on ice for a while. Go. Arc Romer to Arc 2. Come in, Arc 2. Jonah. Ruth. Adam, I don't like it. Kidding that monkey. Mr. Poole, I still think what we Take did Take a was look. Simple. Yes, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, is your friend around? <laughs> you know, you're very bright for a. <laughs> um, could you tell me where he is? What's going on here, Norman? Look, I'll give you a break. If you beat it for a few hours, until we're done, I'll forget I saw you. We're manufacturing Poole's plant power. It's a product Mr. Poole invented and... Where's Ruth and Jonah? In trouble for the moment. In trouble? What kind of trouble? Norman, did you know that they risked their lives for you and Poole? Risked their lives? Yeah. When we revived you, we were afraid everything was gonna blow up. We could have shut down to save our skins, but we didn't. Why? Because you are people, and we care about people. <laughs> Norman! Reiner, you're done for. <laughs> Run after them. Don't let them get away. Run! Run, you understand? Well, you're a big help, let me tell you. Mr. Poole, I think we should have a talk. Later, Norman, later. No, Mr. Poole, right now. Did you know those young people saved our lives at the risk of their own? Well, what, what's the point, Norman? What's the point? Well, the point is they're neither bureaucrats or dummies. They're good people. Norman, I will not tolerate disloyalty. Mr. Poole, 
I've served you for many years. Well, you follow my orders now or you can get out. You don't mean that, sir. Well, yes, I do. I, I, I do indeed. All right, all right, so they got away. Don't be nervous. They can't hurt us. Mr. Poole, Mr. Poole, you got to come quick. Something's wrong with the machinery. It's making awful noise. The machinery's making a lot of noise? <laughs> relax, relax. Nothing to worry about. It's right here. No problem. Follow me. We'll just turn off the master switch and we'll shut down for repairs. You know what I mean? Now, will you tell me where Joan and Ruth are? As his former employee, I still owe Mr. Paul loyalty. Norman, you haven't worked for him in 500 years. You know something? You're absolutely right. Come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, a chemical chain reaction has set in. I know. We can, we can turn the release valve off and say we, we shut the factory down. I'm so sorry. Adam, get up to the ark fast. Turn the power lead on this cable. Then when I tell you, throw the temperature control. parts in hydrous plant protein, 0 0.01 parts arsenic, one part plant growth hormone. That's it. We'll have the neutralizing gas in a moment, Jonah. Good work. There's a hole in the vat. I'm hoping to seal it. Neutralizing gas ready. Not if I can help it. There's a pressure release valve there. 
No, I know. I tried it. It, it stuck. I'll unstick it. You get out of here. Oh. Samuel told me that you'll be able to solve your soil problem, huh? Yeah, good. Mr. Poole, it's been uh, good meeting you. Well, if I were you, I'd be the last to say that. But I want to say that you've got class, and you all got class. My partner Norman here, well, we've got big plans. Big plans for this place, and this time we're not going to make that mistake. This time I'm going to be very considerate and think about the... Um, um, the what? ecology. Sir. Ecology, that's the word. <laughs> How does that grab you, huh? I hear you. Uh, good luck. Goodbye. 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 Part 2 log, entry 68. The people of Poolsville learned a lot from this incident, and so did we. If we're not careful, we can make the same mistakes over and over again. Or we can learn and we can grow. And we don't need a miracle chemical to do it.